Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm Mr. Mold. I am the boys' soccer coach. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Feltry and Mr. Salover for all their support, uh, allowing us to have a team, and all the help we had this year from Mr. Lepsky with the buses and uh, setting up the schedule and making sure everything was good for us so that we can be successful. So thank you, Mr. Lepsky. Uh, I'd like to thank the parents. Home or away, we had a pretty strong following for every single game this year, and you're a big part of what happened. So give them a hand. <laughs> I'd like to thank all my players this year for your effort and dedication throughout the whole season. You should be proud that we went from 1 and 11 last year to at this very moment, we're 10 1 and 1. It's quite a turnaround. <laughs> of our season without a doubt was against New Brunswick, which has been a team that, to be honest, we've struggled with for since I've been a coach. Mm -hmm. I think we beat them maybe once. So uh, we actually beat them this year, one nothing. And for those of you familiar with soccer, they were pretty much composed of the majority of academy players, which are very high level. They were definitely challenging, but we hung in there, played awesome defense, and uh, Mr. Bernal got behind their defense once, bent it off a defender, and put the game away with about five minutes left. So give them a hand for beating New Brunswick. Uh, we're gonna pass out certificates now. Um, I'd like to just recognize our managers who are here tonight. Uh, Christian uh, Manrique and uh, my buddy Ro uh, Roshan. Uh, they are not able to make it, but they help us out with stats and uh, help carry equipment and you know get things ready during training and things like that. So uh, they were definitely appreciated. Uh, we're going to start off with the seventh graders. Our keeper, by the way, against New Brunswick, I failed to mention his name, but he was uh, unbelievable. Uh, Eli, come on up. Midfielder who uh, contributed to the team a lot this year, and I look forward to having him back next year. Uh, Martin. Martin. Hey, Martin. All right, uh, Jake Topper. He was our seventh grader defender. Is he here tonight? I don't think he's here. Uh, AJ, come on up. Okay. <laughs> Part of our uh, starting four on defense, they did an unbelievable job, composed of all seventh graders. And uh, Cairo, come on up. Yes, Cairo. Gabe, come on up. 
And that goes to Jake. He's not here tonight, but just give him a hand. The golden boot goes to the person who has the most goals. Right now, and he's at 28. We still have a game tomorrow. Maybe you can get to 30. We'll see. Um, if I count it correctly. All right. The golden boot. A lot to count, I should say. So, um, like I said, it goes to our top scorer. He's probably, and I've coached for a long time, the most explosive attacker I've ever coached. Which means that um, basically when you watch him run down a through ball, I've never seen anyone run by the defense like this young man. He, he looks like uh, Sonic out there. All right? He is unbelievable. Um, He's dangerous whenever he has the ball on his feet, which is why I'm always a pain in his butt to get moving and trying to get the ball more often, because if, when he has it, good, great things happen. Um, he really showed that he improved on his breakaways, because last year they didn't come so easy, and I would say he probably is about 50 to 60 percent rate, because that's how often he gets behind the defense. So keep it up, Ray. And finally, um, in all honesty, if he works hard enough, you know, he's got just, you know, the sky's the limit for him. So come on up, Ray. Yay! Yay! Uh, my captain seer leadership award uh, is, goes to somebody who always has positive energy. It's infectious. Uh, he loves soccer and he shows it every day going out to practice, whether he, or, you know, when we have a game or a match. Uh, he showed a tremendous improvement from last year to this year. Uh, he ran our warm-ups, all right, no dose tres, I believe, right? All right. Um, He would use his deep voice to be heard, and the girls I caught you a few times mimicking, mimicking him uh, from the other side of the field, uh, which I thought was hilarious. But in all honesty, he has a tremendous future at the high school level. He's an awesome kid who will mix next year. Uh, Andrew, come on up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Give a hand to this group of young men. Hey, guys. Thank you.